my store, but I'm going to move it to um, a blog instead of an actual website, because it's just, I like blogs better, and as I think of something, I can post it, I don't have to do a bunch of stuff, and it will be connected to my phone, yada, yada, yada. Um, I've been in the industry for a minute now. just did the adult industry. I've always been like a mom and a daughter, sister, and that was like like completely last. It wasn't like uh, my whole life was consumed in the adult industry. What I mean by the adult industry, I do um, custom modeling. Um, I also do my own custom post all my pictures from um, my modeling gigs and um, photos for advertisements and things of that nature. I wanted to just let you guys know what type of person I am so that you won't get nothing twisted. No, I'm not a hoe. No, I don't fuck around with people's men. As they say, men, I don't. I don't. I'm not the type of person that's just horny 24 hours a day for dudes, girls, dolls, you know, people have like a misconception of what they think adult entertainers are, they think that, uh, people think that adult entertainers fuck everybody, suck everybody, um, I have to pay people to fuck me, which is a lie, cause I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't rock like that, I give to those that I love, and I give to those in need if I have them, um, very caring, I'm a cancer, my birthday's July 3rd, and I'm gonna be 31, <laughs> but I'm, I'm a very sweet person, I love very hard, and I really care about things that's happening in the world, and if I could just heal the world with one hand, I definitely would, and I would give the shirt off my back as long as I got on the bra and lift these titties up, <laughs> I'm sorry, but, you know, I'm smiling today because, you know, even though my dad passed away and my grandfather passed away on, um, Father's Day, I have to look at it like this, okay, what would they want me to do, would they want me to just lay in bed, cry all day, and be depressed, or would they want me to get up and do what I've been doing, and that's making moves and making shit happen, um, I'm not alone in this, I have a lot of support and a lot of love from my children, significant other, I mean, I just, I got a lot of love and support because I always love and support, um, you know, I'm not a beef person, um, I've seen YouTube beefs, I was in my first little YouTube beef, um, recently trying to defend a friend, and that didn't go over so well, um, but I'm not, I'm not angry, I'm not mad, I hold no ill will, um, people that are meant to be in your life will be in your life, people that aren't meant to be in your life will not be in your life, so, um, somebody just texted, and, um, I don't trip off shit, I just live my life, take care of my babies, and keep it pushing, because that's what life is about, is to keep it moving, and do what you gotta do to survive, within reason, within reason, but, you know, I, I've gotten a lot of different questions.
conversations about life. You know, your pictures are much different than porn stars that I've seen or adult entertainers that I've seen. And you don't show a bunch of pussy everywhere. And you don't show a bunch of ass, but you do show your cleavage and um, blur out your nipples. And here's why I do that. You do not have to show everything if you don't want to. You know what I'm saying? I do what I do because I feel like this is my personality. I love a little bit of mystery and I'm teaching people about me through my pictures and through my posts and through different things. So, you know, I'm just, I'm not the stereotypical, oh, she's a whore, oh, she's a child, I don't molest her. No, I don't molest no kids, I don't get down like that, I don't like my vouch for shit. Um, I'm not a pro-black. I am pro-loving everybody that love me back and that care about me back. I'm not gonna sit up here and, you know, just, I'm not gonna talk shit about somebody or hurt somebody start shit, but I will finish it, um, I'm just, I'm a cool person, I am cool as shit, I'm somebody, and believe it or not, I am somebody that you can take home to mama, and mama wouldn't even know what type of person I am, especially when I open up my mouth, I'd be like, she's cool as shit, and then I'm a realist, so I'm gonna keep it real with you, and be like, this is what I've done in my life, and I'm waiting on God to close the door, as long as the door is not closed, I gotta handle my business. When it's time for me to close the door and close that chapter, it will never be open again. And, you know, there's so many positive, great things about me. You just have to get to know me. Um, you can talk to me. I'm hella chill. I'm a ride or die for my friends. Sometimes friends don't deserve that type of person in their life. And I'm totally not a hypocrite, and I totally don't um, judge anybody, because I know that um, we all fall short, and nobody is perfect, nobody. So for that one talking about, oh, she does this, and she's done that, but haven't you fucked for a Corona, or haven't you fucked for an Apple Martini, bitch? I mean, I'm not trying to say, like, either one is cool, but I'm saying before you judge me, you got to look at yourself. Am I perfect? Am I the devout Christian? Am I leading, um, am I leading by my own understanding or by God's understanding? You know, before you try to point fingers at somebody, you know, that's just, I don't judge nobody, basically. And I love those who care about those who love me back. And I love you guys, and I thank you. And um, Tiki, thank you for making the video. Because <laughs> she was like, I don't know what she do, y'all. But I wanted to just answer that for Tiki so that she can know, like, no, I'm not a scam artist. Yes, I know about all the drama that's on YouTube. Um, I didn't know at first, but when I saw it, and I saw you in particular, how you handled everything, I gravitated towards you because you were a lady, and you were giving, and you were caring from the, from the very beginning, and, you know, it's just certain people I had to unfollow because I don't like, um, I don't like bullshit. I don't like, you know, when I'm cool with somebody, I'm cool with somebody. But when I start to see shit for myself, not, you know, like, personally, I know people and I'm seeing it. I'm talking about, like, I'm piecing together shit and I'm seeing things for myself. And I see that some people are just ungrateful and don't understand and know a real friend when they got it in their face. And I'm going through that. 
that's how come I relate to you. So no, ain't nobody sent me, ain't no fans sent me, ain't no bitches sent me. I just genuinely like you. And I genuinely like um, all the other YouTubers I named yesterday. I forgot a lot of them because there's so many that I watch because I'm at home right now. I don't work, but I handle business and I do model and I do massages and I do travel somewhat. But like I said, I got one foot in the business and one foot out because I'm trying to find something else to do with my life um, before it's too late. I don't want to be no old ass fool. And I'm just saying that. But um, I will be in Vegas for the BBW Con from the 22nd to the 24th. Hopefully, I can come up with a sponsor or I can get my money together um, so that I can go. Because I really want to go mix and mingle and meet some new friends and um, do some photo shoots and, you know, and get this stuff cracking. Because my, my dream is to have my own radio show and my own talk show on YouTube. Or if not on YouTube, like maybe on HBO or something one day because I'm hella funny and I got a lot to talk about and I can help somebody that might have been in my position and um, be a blessing to somebody else. So I just wanted to, you know, I wanted to talk to Tiki, I wanted to talk to um, BBW, Sweet and Sexy too. This goes for you too. Ain't nobody sent me, honey. And I ain't too good to be true. I'm genuinely a nice, caring, loving individual. Sure, I've, you know, stuck my nose and shit trying to be friends with somebody. But that's just how I am. I'm a genuine friend. And when I love somebody, I love hard. I keep saying that because that's just who I am. And, um, I don't want shit from nobody. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to scam I don't want to scam nobody, and I don't want to be scammed either, because I do have a bad habit of being too nice when I'm able to be nice, and sometimes you can't be nice to everybody, you know, and to um, S. Hutchinson, girl, <laughs> I've been watching your videos too, and you be having me dead, that last video when you had the wig on, girl, with them shades, I was like, I was like, Shay, 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 checking it out. I was checking the shade out, honey. Checking it out. <laughs> but yeah, you guys have been making me smile and, you know, keeping me on point. And I'm able to get up, go wash my ass. I'm able to get up and be okay because I'm, you know, laughing and feeling normal again. Knowing that because they're gone, I'm not gone. And I'm here, and I gotta be here for my babies and my family and my stepmom and my stepdad and my sister. So thank you again. And um, to the greedy girls, love you, babies. And um, this is my time. I love you all, and thank you. You know, I can't do fit. I got can't do past fifteen minutes, cause you know, you know. So I love you 